So when I first saw your book, I had one word. I was like, damn, <laughs> get it. Like, I can't hang with you anymore. Come on, like Come you on. are so fit. This well, is, I'm gonna put this by my treadmill in hopes that it will motivate me. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. You know, it's, everybody's got their own journey for sure. Oh and, my and gosh. For me, uh, you know, the only reason we wrote the book was, usually you get five or 10 minutes when you're doing interviews, as you know, and it's mm -hmm. usually about where you're touring, when's your tour start, when's your album coming out, um, what's your next single? It's not necessarily yeah. in depth. How are the kids and all that? And, oh, by the way, you got in shape. How'd you do that? And yeah. we got two minutes, and it's, it never have time to really say all of what it does. And, and it's really as much physical it was mental for me in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's just a few photos from the Book of Life. It's all it's painted. <laughs> like, it's all Photoshop. That ain't painted. You worked hard for that. Well, like, you know, what it, inspired you to get in shape? Well, I'd been an athlete my entire life. I yeah. mean, I, and I come from a long line of athletes. My, yeah. my dad was a professional baseball player. My, my uncle was a professional baseball player. So I have a, some athletic DNA in me, and I was an athlete my whole life growing up. And, and um, I kind of let that get away from me, you know, I, being, in, being on the road and being part yeah. of that lifestyle. And well, and like going from one place to the next, it's hard to like yeah, it's eat just, healthy. It's, it's, it's hard. a little harder. It's, it's tougher, but you just have to dig a little deeper and find it. Um, but, um, you know, I, went, I was going through a tough time in my life. Um, I lost my, my dad, who I was just getting to know. My dad died at 59 of brain cancer, and I didn't know him growing up. So I was just getting to know him, and then my stepdad passed away in that during that time, and my grandparents and, and my coach. It was, it was a, a real a mentor to me. Loss. So it was a lot of loss. But, 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 you know, and a lot of times we fall back and use things as excuses as well, too. And I was going through a thing with my record label. So you know, everything's relative to everybody. You know, no matter what station in life you're at mm -hmm. or how much money you make or don't make or whatever job you have, Everybody has issues to deal with, and you got to find a way to deal with them. And um, I was dealing with them the wrong way. And my wife told me I needed to get my stuff together. And, yeah. and then I was at a movie. Did she say stuff? She, she didn't say. <laughs> well, she, she's, I know she's a Mississippi she's girl. She's a Mississippi she girl. She, she, can, she can be quite colorful with the yes. English language. Me yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, uh, but, and then we were at a movie. We took the kids to see a movie, a holiday, holiday movie, and this was I guess 10 or 11 years. Gracie's 22 now, so she must have been 10 or 11 years old. So it was a while back. I had done a movie that I'd sort of wanted to sort of not think about and didn't think about the trailer being on. And it wasn't that it was a bad movie or anything like that. I just didn't like me. But um, sure enough, the first thing that popped on the screen was the trailer of the movie that I was in and my face on, on a 100-foot screen. And then my daughter, Gracie, looks at me and says, geez, Dad, you need to do something. Dude, I'm telling you, yeah. kids are wrong. Yeah, yeah. Kids are wrong. <laughs> and, but, but to me, it was funny, and she, and she meant it, but she meant it in a lot of different ways, I think, because kids pay more attention to mm -hmm. a lot of things in your life than we ever realize that they pay attention to, and she meant it in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a, sort of a clarion call for me. And it wasn't, a, it wasn't overnight. It was a gradual process, and it was, you know, three steps forward and two steps back, and it always is and still, and it always will be. You're never, you're never going to arrive at a goal. You're always working to get to some place. But what I found is trying to keep a, 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 a physical a consistent physical practice has helped me find other disciplines and other things. And, you know, we think of discipline as so, sort of this cage that you put yourself in when you decide, decide to apply discipline to your life. What I've discovered is discipline really opens the door to the cage that you're in, and it allows you to find other is things that you're good at. Is this all in the book? Because I'm like... Yeah. Well, it's, it, most of it's I'm in there, I'm just saying, yeah. I'm in. This it, is... Wow. It, well, it works. You know, the, the stronger you build your platform, the higher you can leap. And that's what, that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I want everybody to experience. And, and hopefully somebody will get, if one person gets something out of it, then right on. I already yeah. have. Yeah. I told you, <laughs> right by the treadmill. <laughs> it's like, it's amazing. Okay, so how did you, I know that you went to the physical part, and you kind of, it kind of helped you mentally and emotionally, sure. but how do you deal with that much loss, like, to other people? Like, because I feel like we all experience things to be, a, to have a testimony to tell other people to get them through it as Absolutely. well. Yeah, for, for me, it will, you know, after you sort of realize the loss, you look at what you have. And Amen. I have yeah. a lot of great things in my life. I mean, I had the best wife that I could have ever imagine myself having. Yeah. And, and I got three great daughters and, and I got a great career. Coming from a small town in Louisiana where I grew up with nothing yeah. in my life except for the love of a mom yeah. without any, and my grandparents, without that, I didn't know where I would be. So to, to be at that place in my life, have all the things I ever possibly could dream of in my life, it made me look around and say, you know, I got a lot more to be thankful for than, than, than to worry about the cycle of life. What a beautiful yeah. way to turn that around. Yeah. Well, wow. you know, 
with, with, with a Mississippi boot in your ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, look here, sir. <laughs> Do you work out with Faith? Does she work she out? She works with out, yeah. yeah. We, and, you know, and, she always looks so good. Uh, she's, she's, she's pretty hot. I know. She's pretty hot. But, uh, I know. As the kids have grown oh. up, we and as the kids have gotten older, we, we find that we're getting to spend a little bit more time together in the yeah. gym downstairs. So I'm enjoying that for That's sure. So cool. Yeah. All right. I also was reading your preview, and I didn't know that you love to cook. You, I you love and to Faith cook. cook. Yeah. We both cook. Faith's a fantastic cook. I mean, she yeah, can, I bet she can cook anything. She does and, everything great. She Tim. does everything She's great. She's beautiful. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. She married way below. Whatever. But, whatever. But, uh, she, yeah, she's a great cook. I do my, I do the staples. I mean, we cook some healthy, we, a lot of healthy stuff, but we cook some stuff that's not so healthy as well. I yeah. mean, chicken and dumplings is a big go-to at our house. I mean, yeah, it's that's that's sort of how I hooked Faith was with chicken and dumplings. What? How do you mean you? I took them to her house. We were when she was, we were touring together. She, I, I didn't know her that well, and she lived right down the road from me. Yeah. And uh, I made some chicken and dumplings. I thought, you know, I'll. I'll take some chicken and dumplings and some cornbread down to Faith Hill and see how that works I out. I just want to, I want to be a fly on the, it worked. Um, I want to be a fly I still on cook the, them every now and then she, to see if it still works. She's like, you still love me, right? It's like, I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.